My name is Kelly Papel. I'm technical manager for Invino Engineering LLC located in Tampa, Florida. We are an international engineering firm focused on steam and condensate systems. Today I want to talk about steam system engineering, but specifically flash steam recover from steam processes and how we recover cascade or thermal compressing. Why recover flash steam? Thestral plants are focused on steam system optimization to improve safety, increase production, enhance reliability, and reduce energy and emissions. Unnecessary steam venting is today the number one priority to improve steam system optimization and increase your steam system thermal cycle efficiency. Flash steam generation. This is a proper operating steam trap. I'll show you the video. As you can see, the steam trap is large volume of That large volume of flash steam. Why recover flash steam? Steam processes high pressure or high percentage will allow condensate to discharge into a pressurized condensate flash recovery. Plants need to take advantage of this. As you saw in the previous slide, the large volume of flash steam. This is a tremendous opportunity for enhancing the steam system thermal cycle efficiency. We talk about two the systems that we have in a plant operation we call non-modulating steam applications the other one high temperature process applications where we can utilize cascade systems and thermal compressing systems non-modulating steam processes these processes exist into our steam system today the thing with this type of a system there is no modulating valve here. The process modulates. When there's no modulating valve, then there's a constant differential pros, uh, pressure across the drain devices right here. Therefore, we can take elevation, but also we can go into a pressurized return system. Two-phase flow, flash and condensate from the steam process discharge can be directed into a pressurized flash tank for separation of the steam and the condensate. So here we have high pressure or non-modulating loads from a process directed into this flash tank. The flash steam is separated from the condensate and delivered into a lower pressure system. The separation of flash and condensate, we allow no entrainment of condensate and flash, or we get 100% steam quality coming out of the flash tank. Flash steam is described in the previous slide. This is what we refer to cascading flash steam. Common in industrial plants to cascade flash steam several times from the very high pressure down to the lower pressure. Some of the examples of non-modulating steam processes or steam applications, steam tracing systems, drip lake steam traps, process heaters, reboilers, corrugators, and etc. So anytime we have a non-modulating load, we can take it into a flash tank and cascade down to a lower pressure or recover all the flash steam. The next one is steam processes with a high temperature process outlet. On this example here, the process outlets 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, 310 degrees Fahrenheit, if I look at the steam tables, 90 PSI. So the lowest pressure that's going to be here on my drain device at P4 is going to be 90 PSI. Therefore, I have enough differential here 
to go discharge into a pressurized return system and go into a flash tank down here. So this is regarded to a high temperature process outlet. Another example that I can recover flash steam and send it down into a lower pressure system or cascade it. Steam processes with a high temperature process outlet, wood product presses, tire presses, paper machine, metal processing, process heaters, just to name textile presses, just to name a few of the applications. Now, flash tanks. The benefit of using a flash tank is for the separation of the condensate and the steam. Delivery of, of the flash steam at low velocities into a low pressure system to ensure condensate recovery. This, we calculate that there is enough space to store the amount of flash and the condensate in the system. Please note, the release of energy or flash steam occurs in a condensate that's properly sized for the flow rates. The flashing does not really occur in the tank. It occurs in the condensate line prior to the tank. Flash tanks can be mounted vertically or horizontally. Vertical arrangement is the preferred method that we use in the industrial plants. The most important dimension in the design of a vertical flash tank is the internal diameter, large enough to ensure low steam discharge velocities through the outlet nozzle to eliminate any possibility of carryover, again, getting us 100% steam quality. Outlet velocities from the flash tank should never exceed 3,000 feet per minute. The condensate line must be properly sized to ensure flashes occur in the condensate system. The next application I'm talking about is thermal compressing. This is where we do not have a use for low pressure flash. Therefore, we use a thermal compressor to take the low pressure flash and put it up to a higher pressure. This here is the thermal compressor system here. This is the low pressure steam coming off of the flash tank. And of course, we have to have a motive steam pressure there, which is a higher steam pressure. Example, if the tank was at 30 PSI, our motive steam could be 150 PSI or higher, and we would produce 60 PSI intermediate pressure to go out into the system. Basically, Thermal compressor takes low pressure steam that's normally unable to be reused and transform it into a higher usable steam pressure we can use it in the process. Thermal compressor is a simple device that exists for many years. A nozzle where high pressure steam at the plants are accelerated in a high vo uh, velocity fluid to high velocity and trains the low pressure steam from the flash tank by momentum transfer then recompresses in the divergent venturi, resulting in intermediate usable pressure that is useful for the plant operation. Again, just another way of taking low pressure steam instead of venting to the atmosphere, which is the last thing we want to do today, and reuse it back into our steam system, thermal compressing. At Invenio Engineering LLC, our approach is short-term impact steam. We do steam system assessments, steam balance, steam engineering training, long-term upgrades, risk assessments, project engineering, project management, water hammer elimination, which is a big item for us that no one should have water hammer, and process changing. Here is our information. If you have any questions regarding steam system, please contact us. Have a great day. Thank you.